I haven't got a clapper board, so hopefully this will do. Hi, I'm Tiffany Walsh and I'm a film, television and radio student heading into my second year at Staffordshire University. In this video, I will be explaining why I chose to study film, television and radio, or as it's also known as FTVR, and breaking it down into four main reasons. That being said, let's get on with the video. I would say my biggest reason for studying FTVR comes down to my extraordinary interest in cinema, television and music as industries. Ever since I was a kid I've loved films and I've loved TV shows and I love how they carry messages that anyone can be who they want to be and it opens up imagination that I feel like I've always held on to as I'm a very creative person and I love experiencing new things in fun ways and thinking about different ways I can express myself. I, I'm constantly going to the cinema, I see as many films as I can, I count down till certain films come out and I just think that cinema has always made me hold on to so many memories of seeing and watching films for the first time and you know seeing those films that really leave a mark. Films like 1917, Interstellar and Inception where I've sat down and been captivated for a good two and a half hours without moving off my seat and really thinking about what's going on and looking at all of the visual camera changes and just thinking wow this is amazing and as well my love for films also stems that I've actually got a letterbox account where after I've watched any new film I'm straight on there and I'm giving it a little review or changing my top four films of all time and just really reflecting the films I'm watching in the moment and what films I want to watch and you know, I'm always adding to my watch list and that's the same for TV shows really. But with TV shows, I love the whole binge watchability of it and it offers more character development over a longer period of time and you really get to know the characters and you really get to experience what the characters are going through in a wider depth than you could in just like a two and a half hour film because series can go on forever. My favourite TV show at the moment is Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Whereas I've always had a favourite film being 101 Dalmatians which I've loved ever since I was a kid I never had that show that I was kind of like I could sit here and just watch and repeat it all day every day 24-7 But that was until I recently watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine Within I'd say the first few episodes of this show I was like wow this is it and I don't know what it is I think it's one of those moments where I'll just go this is it this is my show like yes Doctor Who is great um, yes I like watching Bridgerton, yes I like watching my crime dramas but this is gold and I, I want a career that you know gives po people those moments where they can't necessarily explain why they love something they just go this is for me, I love it, I'm obsessed with it and that's why I chose FTBR because I'd love to enter a career where I can let other people feel that and have the same experience that films have given me over the years. And obviously it's not just film and television, there's also the radio aspect. And I wasn't that interested being fully honest before I joined Staffs, but I knew that I would enjoy it in the sense that I love music. I've always got my headphones in, I've al I'm always listening to something, you know, if I'm angry, listen to music, sad, listen to music, happy, listen to music just feel like music is quite similar to cinema and TV shows in the sense that you can just escape um, and you can instead of watching something that helps you through what you're feeling you can listen to it and you can listen to it on the go as well I even use music to concentrate when I'm working or editing or s script writing sometimes I can't listen to songs with words because I get distracted and end up just doing a mini karaoke and dance session but I'm, I still listen to like my movie soundtracks like by Hans Zimmer who I absolutely love you know obviously John Williams and it helps me get in the zone and I've always had a wide taste of music from pop to rock to indie I just listen to what I feel like in the moment and I'm always up to date with like the new music gossip what's going on in that sort of who's bringing out music who's not who's in trouble I'm also on TikTok a lot so I'm used to new artists and new upcoming music that's going to be coming out from smaller artists and so I guess that 
when I saw the radio aspect, I was a bit like, I don't think necessarily I'm, I will want a massive career in radio, but I do love my music. It can be a bit of fun and I've actually loved it so far. And I'm actually definitely considering that a career in radio could be a big backup option for me if my film or television career falls through. Another reason why I chose to study film, television, radio at Stats is throughout GCSE and A-levels I chose media as a subject where I was constantly analysing films, TV shows, other types of media, radio, newspapers and you know <clears throat> I got really aware of how people make things and there are reasons why people and directors will make certain decisions. Yeah I never got really a chance to make anything and so I was a bit like I've got all the background knowledge and I've got all of the theoretical knowledge but I need the practical knowledge and a while back I did a film course which was a little week long course with the BFI Institute but while I was on it I found it all a bit daunting because I felt like I was on a set and I didn't know what I was doing I didn't know how to use the equipment I felt like I was going to make loads of mistakes um I was really quiet I didn't really get my ideas out there I didn't have the confidence and I was thinking how am I supposed to have a job where I do this all the time when I feel like I'm so out of place and so that was probably one of my biggest reasons for coming on this course because I thought doing this will give me the opportunity to bring out my imagination in a non-judgmental friendly environment where I can have a go at different roles and different projects and see what I like doing and what I don't like so then I definitely know what I want to do as a career and where I want to go. Um, I know where my new interests are so I know what backup careers I could have. I've already gained a lot of confidence in doing it. I've made live TV shows, um, worked on TV drama um, and made a short film, um, helped other people with their short films as well and already I can see my confidence building and building and I'm not afraid to get stuck in and try new things because one thing might go wrong but the other thing might go brilliant and we've all got each other's backs and I love that community um, and that help that we give each other and that support and it has helped me realise what I want to do. I have realised that I prefer TV dramas rather than live television shows. I feel like it's less stressful and it's more and TV dramas are a lot more like a film um, which is definitely my sort of area that I like. I've learned that I quite like doing lighting as well if it is a um, live production. I think the most appealing career for me is still directing but I've also discovered a love for script writing. Now I know how to lay out a script and you know I've made my first ever original script idea and written it and had it marked and had feedback I've realised that it was actually really freeing and I got a lot of enjoyment out of it and so now that is definitely something I would like to do alongside directing and it's the same for radio um, I wasn't expecting to have much interest in radio but I do quite like presenting and I love podcasting and again I needed to come somewhere where I could trial things that I haven't done before and really find out what works best for me and I finally have and it's amazing. My third main reason for choosing to study FTVR is because of how influential film and television can be. Not only does it give creators the opportunity to entertain people, it also gives the opportunity to educate and inform people around historical events, but also groups of people. For example, when I was a kid, my favorite Disney princess was Ariel. Um, not sure why, she just was. Um, but then as I got older, I did, decided that Belle as a princess suited me more because yes, she had brown hair like me, but also she liked to read and she was quite, you know, academic and she wanted to learn. And I was like, do you know what? That's, that's me and therefore Beauty and the Beast became a real like defining moment of me choosing what sort of person I want to be, what sort of films I want to watch and what empowering characters are going to be my favourite next. But even though that was great for me, I was very lucky because 
as a white woman I always had that as a kid I always had at least one role model that I can look up to and see myself in um and thankfully things are changing now and with films like Black Panther children and adults who didn't have the representation when they were a kid can see characters they can relate to and it just creates more diversity and you know films like Wonder Woman shows like it's a sin it educates people and it makes people realize how horrible it is to judge people based on stereotypes and it breaks a mold of what people expect certain people to be like as well as letting people who already know that information see it represented more equally and accurately seeing black girls reacting to the new little mermaid trailer where they see themselves represented as a disney princess for only the second time honestly it's really nice to see because they've now got what Belle was for me and they can see themselves and I want to be have a career and be part of an industry where we have the power to tell people stories and show people and showcase backgrounds and upbringings and have hard topics and sometimes actions and visuals speak louder than any words do um, and yeah that's why I also chose to study FTVR because not only do I want to see how you make things, I want to see how you don't because there's so many people that have tried representing people and it's just come off offensive so I guess I wanted to do a course where as well as learning how to do something you learn how you shouldn't and therefore when I hopefully do enter the industry I have a wider understanding of how to listen to people and how to showcase people i want to make a change and this industry is perfect for doing that the final reason i want to talk about today as to why i chose to study film television and radio is just simply to meet people i'm quite a creative individual and i wanted to meet other people that have the same inspirations and same dreams as me and have the same sort of mindset where they want to create they want to learn they want to showcase and also have fun with it so i thought uni is going to be the best place to do that as well as learning how to use equipment i also want to learn how to work with people and i also want to have people there who i can make things with because it's not just one person on a film set it's loads and it's getting used to that environment already i can say that i've met friends for life and i've met people who when i want to film something or if i need help know who i'm going to go to and i definitely made the right choice for coming here to do that because everybody is lovely and so helpful and i hate this cliche but it really is like a family so those are my reasons as to why I chose to see FTVR. Thanks for watching. Bye.